Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to the King's Castle here at a highly undisclosed location somewhere in America. We are squatting up the hypercars today, and we are headed off to Dream Ride, La Ferrari. We have the Pagani Huayra, but as you guys know, my personal favorite, all the way from Sweden, we got the squad, the Koenigsegg squad, the ghost squadron, and as luck would have it, I'm riding in the car. Smug smile, smug smile. Are you kidding? He's got a ski box though. Ski box station. Careful of your hat. Exactly, hold on to your hat. We're about to roll. It is tunnel round three. First the La Ferrari, the Aventador SV, and now the Koenigsegg. Maserati MC12 and the Koenigsegg, the Ghost Squadron. This is my favorite car in the entire world. And unfortunately, it's time to get out. A Koenigsegg just has a way of attracting an entire car. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm, I'm ruining their shot. Also, I gotta get my backpack real quick. The Strad Squad is out here representing. He parked the Koenigsegg in the middle of the Ferrari stand. So, the food vlog is coming your guys' way. Good, right? Good. Awesome, Good. thank you so much. I can feel the air conditioning right now. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it's so nice in here. It's so nice, and there's donuts. I'm on vacation. As soon as I get back to Utah, it's salad, it's vegetables all day, every day. But we got a cupcake. This is the spot. Check that out. We got all the Paganis. We got the two Senna's right over there. We got the Ferraris and that MC12, the one of 50 in the world. The Widowmaker. The VIP tent was amazing. I might have slightly indulged a little bit, but it's okay because we have the golf cart. We're gonna go on a tour of the car show. If we get stuck, I'm not pushing, Ben. Oh, we got it. Here, 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 here. Off-roading in a golf cart, going where no golf cart should or has ever, wait, that didn't make sense. Never mind. moving on the vlog. Tucked away here in the back, we got the two La Ferraris. That is a La Ferrari Aperta, but check out the pink nation, the pink 720 with that white interior. And we have the Dawn with the white interior as well. We got the 812 super fast and the GT2 RS. What? Now we have the world's youngest Pagani Waira owner. We are gonna hop in the Waira Roadster. What's up? Here we go, here we go. One of one Janet Pagani Waira Roadster. The details on these cars are just unreal. It's also very, very hot. I cannot convey to you guys how hot it is in here, but I'm out here, I'm hustling for you guys, trying to get the angles, all the exclusive footage. Ben, thank you. Man, what is it like to drive? I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> He's 13. He owns the car, but he can't actually drive it yet, but maybe in what, three years or so, we'll drive it. Okay. All right, there we go, there we go. This might be the ugliest I've ever looked in a vlog. It's just dripping sweat right now. 
but Pagani Water Roadster. Inside sources, and when I say inside sources, I mean the guy in the orange polo. <laughs> he tells me that the carbon fiber option on the Senna is $500,000. On the Centenario, it's $250,000. That being said, if you have the money and you like green carbon fiber, I'd highly recommend picking it up because it looks sensational here under the sun. You got the white interior. Remember the 720 we saw earlier? Same owner. I, I don't even know how you quantify this thing. It is just absolutely massive. I've never seen a factory wing as big as the Senna. Goodness gracious. Girth Nation, have yourself a moment. This might be the girthiest of the girthy. The McLaren Senna, green carbon fiber. The show is nearly over. I don't know what we're doing, where we're going, what car we're riding in, but it could be cool. It might not be. Stick around. We hooked up with La Croix. La Croix. My French is very good. Very, very good. Actually, je ne parle pas français. La Croix. Now, generally speaking, this is a far more sophisticated drink than I'm used to, but hey, we're in Connecticut. It's time to indulge. <laughs> Champ right there. Under pressure, no issues. And there is the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> Connecticut style. The blue Senna, we're about to get a cold startup. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. Um, these guys, I just missed it. These guys were hustling more than me. I'm lazy, what can I say? I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hustle and I, I missed the cold startup, but I am going to get some driving footage. So there's that. I don't know if that makes it. Uh, anyway, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Put the lift down. Man, put the lift down. Do it. Do it for the viewers. This is kind of an awkward sequence in the vlog. I don't like to call people out. He's standing right there, but he left the front end lift up on a Senna next to a P1 in race mode. Like, this could be the worst of the worst, guys. Check that out. Um, hmm. I, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I am hopping in the Wyra Roadster. <laughs> they say twin turbo cars can sound good. The Pagani Wyra has got to be one of the best sounding cars in the world. Just the spool up of those turbos and the blow off is just unreal. I can tell the audio is not, why. Well, I, I just know the audio is not capturing it. It sounds so good in here, guys. Unsurprisingly, the six liter twin turbo V12, it doesn't get the best fuel economy. We're here at the gas station. My Gallardo gas cap is $800. How much do you reckon a Pagani Wire Roadster gas cap is? 8,000? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I say that number, it sounds ridiculous. It could be actually. So we're trying to catch up. We have 700 plus horsepower, so well, it has 900. Well, it doesn't matter. We got a better driver. Told you we'd catch up to him. a highly undisclosed location somewhere I think in Mexico I'm not exactly sure where we are but with the wire we got here very very quickly we got ESC off race mode sport mode comfort mode and you have a snow mode in your Pagani wire I think it's safe to say no nope. well, actually that's not true that's not true I was gonna say no Pagani but there actually are heroes out there that have launch control I don't think any wire roadster has ever been launched but then again who knows Enjoy this view because when it's gone, it's gone. We're actually coming back with an Enzo in like five minutes. So yeah, we'll be back. Here we go, guys. The Ferrari Enzo. We have the manual windows here on I'm the dying. Enzo. <laughs> it is so hot. I am sweating like a pig right now. This is not my most proud moment ever vlogging for you guys but we're in an Enzo, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> 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 
unsurprisingly, the Ferrari Enzo doesn't get the best fuel economy. 660 horsepower, V12. Opening the door on the Enzo is a little bit of a workout, but it's worth it. Flex oh, Nation. Gas cap is freaking it is fuming. so hot. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna work. Well, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So you can see the steering linkage right there in action. How cool is that on the Enzo? Enzo is not the easiest car for this angle. I don't have a Bumble profile, but if I did, this would be the shot. The legendary Enzo. We got the 458 Special. Just check that out. Views on views. That's a good childhood. I mean, assuming you don't die. But yeah, anyways. We have arrived back to Mexico. Currently, the lift is up. We are now going to put it down. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> That's the lift on a Ferrari Enzo right there, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, the Ferrari Enzo. A couple fun facts. It has Euro reflectors and US reflectors. That's the only car I've ever seen that has that. We get the NSX, the 458 Speciale Aperta, the La Ferrari, the Wider Roadster, and the 650 Le Mans. This is one of 50 in the world. It's kind of loosely based off the F1 LM. Same wheel setup and everything. This car has like very few miles. Wider Roadster, enjoy this for you guys because when it's gone, it is, well, one more look. Gone. Absolutely amazing day here in Connecticut that is going to effectively end today's video. We are headed up to Montreal right now for some very, very exciting content, so be sure to stay tuned. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button, but just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.